I want to talk into some completely unrelated news about a game that comes out, I believe, next month. Um, so we have the sequel to Shadow of Mordor called Shadow of War coming out. And the original Shadow of Mordor was quite a fun game. Like, I mean, I was a huge fan of like Assassin's Creed 2 back in the day. Like, that was a fantastic game. Probably one of the best games of last gen. Uh, but the Assassin's Creed series has kind of went stale for me. This game takes that formula and kind of like revitalizes it because I really enjoyed the way it does combat. It's a lot more refreshing than Assassin's Creed. You still have the excellent parkour elements and you also had the nemesis system, which really changed the dynamics of combat with enemies. Oh, yeah. Uh, I remember that shit. Yeah. So you have played Shadow of Mortar, I'm guessing. I never beat it. I never beat it. Um, I haven't either, actually. I need to get back to it. It got super overwhelming for me. Super overwhelming because I made too many fucking enemies, apparently. Oh, um, yeah. And every, and apparently everyone hated my guts. <laughs> yeah, so, you, could, you could screw yourself with the nemesis system, <laughs> certainly. <laughs> um, so, no, and but the, the idea of it was super fucking impressive. The gameplay was super fucking impressive. Um, I loved it. I think it was so genuine, something new, so fresh. Um, and I love, and I loved it, dude. I loved it, but it was something about like, I I don't know what I did, like or where I took a, like a, a wrong turn in Albuquerque or some shit. But like, I basically screwed myself for like everyone hated my guts, and like they would just team up on me in like five seconds. I was like, dude, this is impossible at this point. Um, so I don't know if like I just like made some kind of weird uh, aspect of the game where like I, I just could not succeed. But uh, no, it was it was great. It was it was so fresh, so great, so different. I I mean, I went the time that I enjoyed with it. I really enjoyed with it. I got you. Okay. So, anyways, what this is about? There's an upcoming DLC uh, for this game. It's to honor the executive producer uh, of that particular game, Shadow of Mordor, uh, Michael Forge. I think it's or is it Forge? I'm not sure. <laughs> But anyways, he actually died of cancer uh, earlier this year. And so they decided that they're going to make a DLC character called Ford Hog Orkslayer, who represents uh, Mr. Forgy in like a virtual form. You know, like it has a face that kind of looks like this guy's from what I understand. And he's this big bulk bulking dude that fights enemies with a weapon that is, um, it's basically an axe made out of a guitar, which is really uh, cool sounding. But if you buy this DLC, he will be able to randomly help you whenever you're struggling in the game. You know, like if you're about to get killed by a boss or something like that, you might get like a little uh, moment of deus ex machina where he's going to kind of help you out and, you know, prevent you from dying, you know, by kind of stepping in and, you know, hitting the boss really hard with his axe and then, you know, whatever. Uh, but anyways, they're selling this DLC for $4.99 and they're going to donate $3.50 to his family's fund to, I guess, help with the costs related to that until December 31st, 2019. I understand it's not the full $5 because they have to pay platform fees and things like that to Steam and PlayStation Network and so on. So... From what they're claiming, they're all the proceeds from the development of that DLC is going to the family. Uh, however, did you hear the kicker about this story? Did you uh, really look at the story, or if not, I so, can explain it. But so it looks like uh, there are certain states where this is not acceptable. Like where they'll just take the full, the full, the full uh, five dollars for this DLC. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. So there's uh, Alabama, Hawaii, Illinois, Massachusetts, Mississippi, and South Carolina are listed in the fine print about this DLC that the donations uh, from purchases made in those states won't go towards the family. Um, now, that's apparently because these states have special regulations when it comes to charitable donations that prevents WB Games from doing so. However, WB Games is still claiming that they're not making any profit off of this DLC, but uh, the thing is, we don't know exactly how they're addressing that. They haven't actually told us what they're doing with the money from purchases in those states, as well as uh, foreign countries as well. 
uh, because anybody that purchases DLC that lives outside of the U.S., well, that donation's not going to go to them either. And I don't know if that's maybe because of the way international laws work or what, but, you know, it's definitely a, a, a serious problem since uh, this DLC seemed like a really nice way to honor this guy. But at the same time, with the way they're handling it, I, it probably, uh, it, it, it just kind of puts a stain on this game, you know, kind of really makes me scratch my head, you know, because I really would want to support something like this, but at the same time, even though I live in a state that, I, you know, my donation would count, I just wouldn't feel right knowing that other people's may may not matter at all, you know, and it's like, where's, where's that money go? You know, who gets that money? Right. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty scummy. I mean, and especially to like try to make money off of someone to, uh, with their time and effort into like this whole, uh, monumental, uh, I mean, this game is clearly going to be a franchise, um, because it's, it's that great. And it had, I mean, it won game of the year, if I'm not mistaken, right? Right, right. And I mean, there was the other controversies they talked about, like this game having loot boxes, apparently, and some of the other weird things that they're doing with it, having like a $300 collector's edition. Which, that's kind of crappy, but, I mean, I, I kind of chalked it up to, that's the state of the industry today. You know, these companies are going to try to make a buck where they can. And right. uh, if people are coughing up that money, I don't blame them necessarily for trying to get that money. Because, you know, there's people that go out there and buy, like, $50 in loot boxes and Overwatch, you know, just to see if they can get some skin for Hanzo or some crap like that. You know? But, uh, but you know what I mean? Like... Uh, it, it's just this right here is just a different level of thing entirely. You know, like I think they should have either said, okay, you know, like for every per every time that somebody buys this uh, DLC, we'll donate that amount of money to this, uh, you know, it's like say a charity to fight cancer or something like that. You know, like maybe the family won't get that money directly, but instead of, you know, like, saying that the DLC is a charitable donation, just say it's a DLC, but then that's, like, something they're going to do extra, you know, for every time somebody buys that DLC. I think that right. would have probably been a good compromise. I don't know if maybe they're trying to figure something out, possibly. But they're definitely going to want to figure something out because they might get a few pre-orders canceled over this, I'm sure. Well, you know, the Internet is the Internet. <laughs> they'll yeah. find any reason to up war about anything. I saw something pretty fucking funny today uh, where it was like uh, somebody uh, <laughs> uh, what he said he's like uh, oh man I gotta pull this shit up because this is some funny shit n n not to say like this is like nothing nothing to make light of. I do appreciate like you know if they re really and it's a nice gesture etc cetera, etc cetera, and they're really just scummy about it etc cetera, etc cetera. Uh, mm -hmm. you know if if, if you know, they're just like trying to make light or, or trying to make some money off someone's death who was involved with this game. It's pretty scummy. Uh, but there will always be something in the in the realm of the internet interwebs to complain about, right? Mm -hmm. So I saw something. Or here's this is what it is. I saw something funny today, and it was like uh, someone asked, uh, "All right, so internet, what are you pissed off about today?" And it was like we literally buy trash bags just to throw them in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like someone will, no matter what the 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 equation is, whatever the mathematical, you fucking goodwill hunting X Y Z number two plus three, like whatever it is or isn't, people will find a reason to complain about anything and everything, right? Right. <laughs> so, so I mean, are the, do they prefer to just put the trash directly into their garbage bin? I'm just and then saying, have like, to, I mean, and then have to wash the garbage bin every time you get like food that rots in there, <laughs> or you get like cat litter or any kinds of other things that would really stink it up badly. I mean, I mean, I mean, it, I mean, I understand your point, but I also understand like I'm literally buying a product to put it in the trash. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. I've spent four dollars, and I here, you know, that's neither here nor there. It's just, it's just kind of an aspect of the angle that I'm trying to take is that. No matter what, like there will always be a level of um, unacceptance, uh, mm -hmm. 
discord, you know, unhappiness, you know, this is unacceptable in any way, shape or form. Like we're giving $300 to charity. Like, well, you get, you made, you made 300 and you know, $1. Like, where's that $1 going? Like, well, dude, I stopped by Taco Bell. Like I just wanted to, you know, pick up a fucking, you know, beefy crunch burrito. Like what's wrong with that? Like I did some work here somewhere, you know? Hey, that's um, fine. I mean, if that's where the money's going, if they're just going to get a few Taco Bell meals for the development team, okay, I'll be fine with that. But <laughs> but you, you understand what I'm saying? Like, no matter what any aspect I think that you take on the internet nowadays, no matter what good or bad comes of it, there's always this just, like, repercussion of um, hatred, upset. Like, there's there's always this defining line, regardless, that someone will find some defining line where they can just complain about something right i got you subscribe to the dp and me on the itunes do now get to the chopper get cookie down now